Um, good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Maurizio Zuccotti. Uh, I'm an embryologist. I study uh, the molecular mechanisms that regulate embryonic development. So, um, uh, since the very beginning of uh, uh, our life. And I teach uh, uh, developmental biology at the University of Parma. And that's my email address. Um, the work I'm gonna tell you about is the result of a collaboration among different uh, realities um, that uh, have joined together to form the Center for Health Technologies right now at the University of Pavia. And uh, the aim of the Center for Health Technologies is to provide technological solutions for different fields like regenerative medicine, toxicology, studies, diagnostics, and so on. And today I'm going to show you an example of the work that has been done by the whole team. Um, we have produced a platform to test the effects of chemicals and physical uh, agents on um, the very early stages of embryonic development. As you know, uh, we are uh, mammals, and among mammals we are the species with the uh, uh, most difficult uh, uh, and lowest uh, reproductive uh, performance. More than 60-65% of our embryos die during pregnancy. Okay, so it's a very delicate stage. Um, and most of these embryos die at the very early stages of uh, development. Um, before the embryo implants on the uterus. And most of women don't even recognize that they are pregnant during those stages, okay? So 60, 65% of embryos are lost during that time. Um, the platform, of course, these embryos are very difficult to study. So we needed to uh, set up an in vitro um, cell platform that could mimic embryonic development in order to make these studies and to study the effects of the environment on embryonic development. So how chemicals or physical agents could alterate this embryonic development. And our platform, as I will show you in a minute, is capable of studying these early stages of development but furthermore, it can study also uh, differentiation by using uh, embryonic stem cells, you know, the famous embryonic stem cells, pluripotent stem cells, that can differentiate in any type of uh, uh, cells that make up our body. Uh, our system develops through 12, about a couple of weeks of culture, and during those couple of weeks of culture, you can test the effects of chemicals or physical agents like uh, uh, gamma rays, okay? Of, of course, during pregnancy, it's very difficult that a woman is subject to gamma rays, but during um, long journeys, during long flights, uh, many women are exposed to those gamma rays. Um, in our platform, um, in the analysis of specific markers of development, can test whether a specific chemical can alter uh, embryonic development or differentiation. And uh, as a first test, we differentiated these embryonic stem cells into cardiomyocytes. So we can test for um, new drugs or uh, xenobiotics and their effects on pre-implant uh, embryonic development and cardiomyocyte 
differentiation. These videos show you what happens after 15 days of culture when, uh, when the platform is subjected to uh, uh, arsenic trioxide. You know that uh, dioxin, arsenic are very dangerous xenobiotics that can alter differ the differentiation processes. And here, well, unfortunately, it doesn't work. After the differentiation, you should see these cells beating. Yeah. And here is an example of how they beat in control after, uh, and after treatment with different concentrations of arsenic. Uh, let me see if, it, yeah, quick time not, not non disponibile. Okay, anyway, if there was a quick time disponibile, we could see these cells beating. And, um, and these are the papers that we have. Uh -uh. Okay. That we have published using these uh, uh, pluripotent stem cells platform of differentiation, where we tested the effects of dioxin, arsenic, or amylase. And uh, with this platform, we developed also a uh, mathematical model of how cells differentiate. And uh, now that the platform has been tested um, on different substances, we are looking for partners that help us to develop the platform furthermore and uh, test it uh, perhaps with uh, specific uh, drugs and perhaps with drugs that are used already in uh, um, cardiology. Thanks a lot. If there are any questions or if you need a further um, specific, uh, develop specific aspects, you can write me at this address, of course. Thank you very much.